Okay, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to start on creating our routes. And there is a slight problem with the way we architected the server. So if we do a yarn start dev, um, you will notice that the server is starting uh, right here before the database is connected. And that is simply because in our entry file, we're not waiting for the database connection to finish before we do the server connection. So we actually have to create a, what's this called? An immediately invoked function expression. Okay. And it's gonna be in async, so then it'll turn these two into promises. That we could easily just await. And there's gonna Oh I guess not. Um well just to be safe, I wanna turn the server into an async await uh function so that we know it's gonna be a a promise as well. Okay, so that uh, looks right. So now our database is connecting first before our server runs, and that is important or else um, bad things will happen. So now we could create our routes. And the first routes that we need, let's open up a new terminal and clear, are the error handlers. So <clears throat> I think it would be a good time to bring up um, project structure. The the structure I'm going to be using is um. Uh, well, let's let's create the project or the directories first. So, source uh, middlewares. Dot ts. No, not ts. This is a directory. And source uh controllers. All right. Controllers, middlewares. And then in our middlewares, we're going to create uh, errors. Errors dot middleware, middlewares dot ts. Uh, ah, damn it. It's in the wrong place. All right. <laughs> okay. So. Let's look at the naming convention that I'm using. Um, so the name is going to be the very first thing, followed by the type of file that it's going to be, and that is going to come before the the file extension. And this is a a design pattern that you'll see a lot in Angular. So this way we can have um. Well, actually, I'll show you. So touch. Uh, source controllers there's going to be a groceries dot routes dot ts as well as a groceries oh wait this is controller groceries dot handler dot ts come on there it is okay so our controllers is divided up into two different types of files, the routes file and the handler files. They're related, so they'll have the same name, but they're separated by the the file type. And hopefully that makes some sense. It it's easier to differentiate files this way. If you were my last API project, it was a lot more confusing because there's a lot of overlap. So anyways, um, back to the code. So we need a couple of error handlers. So let's create the, the all-purpose one right now. So const um, error handler equals to an express error. It takes in an error. No, error, uh, followed by the normal a 
express stuff. So, like that. And we're just going to return um, res.status.json. Oops, no, res.status. Then we error.status or 500. So there's going to be um, why did I do it this way? Yeah, let's change this. So, um, okay, so this is the underlying object. So, message is going to be error.message. Then status is going to be error.status. And then then we're going to also output the stack trace um, just for debugging purposes. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, that looks good. And then now we also need to implement a certain kind of error handler, which is the not found error. The easiest one to remember, the 404 error. So request, response, next. And we're just gonna next. Um, New error not found. And right, we also want to attach a stack or a status code to it. So I'm actually going to separate this out. Uh, so yeah, cons error is new error not found. Uh, syntax error, I made a, it's supposed to be lowercase, dot dot dot, error, status, 400. Alright, cool. Alright, if you're wondering why I don't just um, attach the status to the error object, like this, um, that's because TypeScript doesn't like this, because uh, an error type is technically just um, let's see if I could click on this. No, I can't. Let me do this. All right, so we just do an option click, and this is what a node error is supposed to look like. So the error type is just a stack with a string, so you can't attach extra stuff to it. However, uh, we're expecting this error to have a status. So we could just destructure the object, spread out the error, and then attach the status code here. And this is actually supposed to be 404. Okay. Um, let's see, that opened up my node module, so let's get rid of that because it's scary. Going back to our server. Let's import our stuff from dot slash middleware slash errors dot middleware. We're gonna bring in the not found and the error handler. If you remember, the error handler has to be the last thing. So do that, and then everything else is gonna go above it. So app dot use not found. All right, and let's test it out. So the root path should give us hello world. And then anything else should give us an error. So slash API gives a status of 404, which is odd. New error, error, status. Okay, the not found is working, so that's good. That is 404. Okay, and then the error handler is working. All right, so let's uh let's just 
attach it. Uh, let's change this to any type, so it could be anything. And just do this. Basically, the thing I said I wasn't going to do earlier. So we're going to pass in the air object. I should... There we go. There's the error message, not found, the status, and this long ass stack trace, which is a lot of stuff. Okay, anyways, um, that's out of the way. Let's actually create some stuff. Let's check the time first. All right, 10 minutes for errors. That's cool, I guess. All right, so. We're now in the controller, which is divided into routes and handlers. So, if you remember, <coughs> express routers are like this. You import the router function from express, and then you create a router instance using that router function, like that. And then, of course, we're going to export it at the end. And now we can just add um, routes to it. So, router.route. We're only going to be um, concerned with two, two paths. So, router.route slash colon ID. The first one's going to be for. Uh, Hold on. Okay, so the get request to the root route of the groceries router is going to be for showing everything, showing all the grocery lists, and then post is to create a new grocery list. Um, and then the the ones associated with the ID path is going to be basically everything else. So get here is going to be to get the specific um, grocery list. Put is to update it, and delete is to delete it. And then once that is done, make sure we import and use it um, because it's an easy step to forget. From dot slash controllers slash grocery routes and then router and then because um, we're going to be using multiple instances of router we're actually going to alias it so it has a different name so this is going to be groceries routes and then just do app.use at the prefixed path of api slash groceries and then we're going to pass in the grocery routes, like so. Now, none of these routes do anything yet, so we can't test it. So let's, uh, let's do that. Press response res.send groceries works. We change this to request save. Cool. So API is going to give us a not found error slash groceries. If we spell that right, it should give us it works. All right, cool. Now let's get rid of this because we don't need it. And now all we need to do is create and supply the correct handler functions for each of these. So in our handlers functions, it's it's Every um, export const, every handler function is going to follow the same basic um, pattern as this. So it's going to be <clears throat> so instead of all right, let's just do this. So I'm going to multi-select one, two, three, four, and five. Export const. Um, Groceries equals this looks like being async. Open up. It's gonna be a try catch. Now 
next error. Oh uh, crap. Okay, I forgot to do this. So um boom and here and here. Alright. Request response next. Do 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 do. And this is gonna be next. <clears throat> and get rid of this. Alright. Uh, and then the only thing <coughs> that changes uh, from this basic boilerplate is the name of the function. So this will be show show all groceries. This one's gonna be um, show one groceries. Create oops, create new groceries. Um, Update groceries and delete groceries. Am I missing one? Let's see, show, create, read, update, delete. Oh, okay. Yeah, I made one too many. All right, cool. So those are all handlers, and we could also. I don't know if I like <coughs> this naming convention, but whatever. Request response next here and all right let's let's add all of those in here so um let's import it from dot flash groceries dot handlers this this one's gonna be show all show one Create new groceries, update groceries, delete groceries, save. All right. Um, what is the time on this? All right. Yeah. I'll. I'm gonna separate this into two videos. So so far we just basically created um the the router the air handler and we just need to finish out the actual groceries handlers and I will do that in the next video.